Today we're going to be demonstrating the deployment warning capability in Urban Code Deploy. To start off with, we have our component, and as you can see on the bottom half of the screen, we have the request history, which now shows if there are any and how many warnings there are associated with a process request. So to start off with, let's take a look at one of our processes. Now, there are two ways to set a warning message on a, on a process, one of which is through the utility step, add warning. Uh, this one's pretty self-explanatory. It gives you the ability to set a warning message. So we will set a message from the step. And the alternative is to set it through a post-processing script. Now, I have a shell step uh, with a message that is echoed out with warning colon successful but something weird happened and we have our post-processing script and to show you our new uh, default post-processing script includes this commented out section showing you how to set a warning and i branched mine off slight slightly from that and i just have it um, begin the scan so we're scanning for warning colon and then we're going to grab the entire line and then throw that into the warning message so we'll go ahead and make sure this is saved and then we will go ahead and deploy it so I have our application our environment set up with our components and deploying it As you can see here, we have two warnings, one from the uh, utility step and the other one from the post-processing script. Now you might be asking, where do those messages go? Now you can drill down by expanding these and once you get to the actual step that generated it, you have access to the message. So clicking on it, you see we set a message from the step and from the shell script, we got a warning that it was successful but something weird happened. Uh, and we can also see that on the application's process request history. Now, another functionality we have is if you have a, um, a process that is prone to throw warnings that you may or may not care about, for example, if you have a machine that might throw low disk space, but you never expect it to really run out for one reason or another, maybe it's uh, just a docker image that just gets rebuilt the same way then you have the option to ignore child warnings from the uh, run component step or the run operational process step so checking that and then rerunning it you would see that uh, your process does not generate any more warnings even though the steps underneath may and to demonstrate we will go ahead and deploy it again where you see there are no warnings that are being popped up. But if we expand it down to the actual step, we will see the warning here, but we won't make it noisy and propagate it up. Thank you guys.